have it on my way yet. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you my second semester notes. My notes are being kept in an Avery durable half inch binder. I don't typically keep my notes in a binder, but if I did, I would use a Muji binder. I'll be starting off with my organic chemistry notes. And as you guys will see, I don't typically have a standard note taking method. I kind of just base it depending on the class. It's black and white. I'm up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day. Like day by day. All of these notes were written on my iPad using Notability and then printed. So here's when I kind of gave up on organic chemistry notes because it's more about memorization and practice. Okay. For mechanisms, I just gave up on notes completely and I copy pasted the mechanisms that were in my teacher's lecture slides and summarized it onto one sheet. I'm just gonna quickly skip over the horizontal notes because I'll be showing all of those at the end of this video. Okay, now we're moving on to biology of organisms and I did have someone request me to make a video on how I take notes that will be uploaded very soon. I'm up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day Now we're moving on to cell biology and metabolism, one of the hardest classes I have taken so far. And I know I should probably distinguish between the classes with different colors, but I didn't. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm born away. This class is purely about understanding the material, so you'll see that I have a lot of images and drawings included in my notes to help me understand the concepts better. Towards the end of the semester during the COVID-19 situation, I stopped taking notes the way that I used to and I started focusing on mind maps. 
So I would just pull the most relevant information from these slides and transcribe it into a map. I chose to do my notes this way so that I have easier access during exams and if I ever needed to refer to a diagram, I would just search it up in my PowerPoint slides. don't mind the way I do my calligraphy or my mind maps because it was my first time doing both and I'm still working on it. Thank you. 